Hey peeps, I'm delaying my run, it's my best, uh, because I really would like to get a video out, you know, just keep it going, and the video today I want to do is about Docker, and I'm using Docker a lot, especially since I want to move the bulk of my stuff over to uh, Caddy, and Caddy has a container, so I might as well use it, but that runs into my first problem, have a look, have a look at this, so Currently on my host, I have a whole bunch of uh, virtual hosted sites, uh, serve.srvww, uh, and each of those is a site. Each of those is a little PHP project or some other silly little thing, and it works. It's just uh, a horrible Nginx configuration. But now, if I want to dockerize all these little sites I mean each site is arguably its own application so does that mean I'm gonna to have to run you know basically an HTTPD for every single application here because uh, that's kinda nuts wouldn't you think I mean I've got like like I don't know 20 applications and that would mean 20 individual containers and that just doesn't make sense to me so there's some this there's, there's a there's a there's a boundary there isn't there there's a there's a gray there's a gray there's a gray area so i have been getting some vhost stuff uh, set up with caddy on core os but um, you know since i'm sharing the php and all that stuff arguably I'm not really sandboxing or containering very well, and thing and the point of this, well, could be all mitigated. Um, another thing I don't like about um, containers is that whilst on this Fedora instance I have timers, you know, I can uh, list the timers and I, ha I have some timers running. Um, in a Docker file or a Docker container, you usually just run that like the one HTTPD instance, and it often doesn't have a cron job. So you're a bit stuck there, aren't you? So how do you deal with that? Um, logging is another issue entirely. Um, I, I'm just journal control tailing here with CoreOS and it doesn't really give me what I'm hoping to see. Uh, yeah, if someone's got some good logging solutions for Docker, please let me know. I'm st still unhappy with everything I, ha I see. And then um, just developing Docker containers, it requires a whole lot, you know, it's quite a complicated workflow here. Um, I just jotted down my workflow here and you know, often you're basically having to shell into very minimalistic containers where there's no dev tools to debug issues, and um, and then when you make changes, you have to be careful not to nuke them because the whole idea of it is not to be persistent. And then you have to be careful with your volume mounts, and uh, and then you have to get a system D container. And then it's sometimes really hard to see um, changes in the Docker container. Like it's really, I find it. I still don't even really know how to do it. How do you examine the files of a Docker container? Sometimes it's like sometimes I just throw a, a stop a container. I want to have a look at it later, and I struggle to, to look into it. So yeah, the workflow is really awkward. Really awkward. Obviously, once everything's up and running, it's great. But it's really awkward sometimes and. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing up like having a VPS where I sort of, you know, slowly get everything running how I want it, like using Fedora or Arch. And, you know, usually once I get up and running over some time, it's quite a nice solution. But if someone obviously nuked that, it would be quite difficult to bring it up. The great thing about Docker is that it's, well, how do you say you don't bring it up gradually. You basically have to do everything in one fell swoop to get it all running how you want it. But and that itself can be painful. You know, you don't have the gradual thing. You have to like 
and then, but once you get there it's usually quite nice and then obviously if something happens to it you can sort of get the logic up and down uh, up and running again obviously that doesn't really account for the sort of variable data of your application you kind of have to manage it in an old school manner really there's no like you know something pull my my data and manage that yet so uh, yeah that's my thoughts on docker please uh, comment and contribute and um, give me some ideas from some other videos and now I'm gonna go for a run bye